I would love to, um, you know, kind of switch gears a little bit and talk about your favorite guy, Roly Romero. <laughs> you know, I know I was, uh, I was talking to you a little bit before his fight, and uh, you was kind of like a little bit up in the air, but you was just like you were hoping that he would win because you know, a fight between you guys, that's a that's a really big fight. But the way that he won, are you just like, nah, man? I don't, I don't want to fight Roly. I'm gonna tell you this right now. We can put this out. I do not want to fight Roland, bro. It's just, bro, he let that old man whoop his ass. That old man was whooping on his ass, bro. That old man was beating his ass, dropped him, all that shit. So, right, man, come on, bro. He, he He's pretty good, though, the Barato. He's pretty, he's, he's solid. Come man. on, bro. That old ass man, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. That old, old man was whooping on Roland's ass, bro. And then, he, then they stopped it. The man wasn't even hurt. Nothing was going on, bro. They stopped the fight. Look, I know it. Listen, this is a boxing business. I know it. If that dude would have won, then... What does it? What does it say for boxing? That that what what gives boxing a bigger black eye to let Roley get that stoppage or to let that dude win a belt? Like bro, that dude, that man was old. They say he was forty, bro. That man was about sixty years old. Right, That's the old ass man, bro. That was an old ass fucking dude, bro. And Roley let that man whoop on his ass and put him down and drop him. Yeah. So yeah, bro. I listen. I don't want to fight. I, maybe Ryan can fight Roley or something. I, like, for me, bro, I don't want to fight Roley, bro. I wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't even want to go through a train. I, I train really hard, bro. I wouldn't even want to go through a training camp knowing I'm about to fight Roley. It's like, it's just LB bullshit, bro. I'm not going to lie. I would I, I want to <laughs> fight better fighters. That's all. Uh, granted, you said you want to fight better fighters at 140, and I think a lot of people would agree that there are better fighters at 140. But Roley does have... The full he does have now. Nah, that's that's one thing. It's like, listen, I, like just saying Roly name. No, nah, I wouldn't want to fight, especially after that fight. But Roly name does hold some weight. Roly is a clown. We'll be in here, but talk a lot of shit back and forth to each other. It'll be funny. And mm -hmm. Roly has a belt, and it'll probably be a lot of money. So you know, I know I'm saying I won't fight Roly, but if they if they come to me like, look, you fight Roly next. I'm like shit. All right, bro. How much money I'm gonna get paid? Just let me know what the check gonna look like. I like. Shit. All right, bro. I guess I'm gonna fight Roly. But you know, I would want to fight better fighters. But it's just like if I gotta fight Roly, and then he he does have a belt. That's the crazy thing. So he does have a belt. So maybe I will fight Roly. Do you think? And I'm, I know you think you'll just like walk through him, basically. Even though you did just say a few minutes ago you don't like saying that, but I think a lot of people would probably assume that you'll walk through Roly. But when you kind of look at him, do you kind of say, okay, he's not the level opponent I want to fight, but he does hit pretty hard. So I, I do gotta like prepare a little bit for that, you know? Yeah, I'm saying like for me, I, I always prepare, bro. I, I don't overlook nobody, so I definitely always prepare. It it looked like he does have power for sure. Broly does have some type of pop, you know, and you know just because he he don't have too much skills, you know, he fight like a damn karate man. But you know, he still he still does have power, so you know you definitely gotta respect that. Um, but I I was still I will always train just like because it's like all right, bro. If Broly beat me, it's like oh man, I'm I'm done, bro. I might as well retire. I moved to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little old day, man. Come on. <laughs> but, That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, you know, any in boxing, anything can happen. If he has he does have power, but it's like, bro, if Roley beat you, it's like, bro, I'm I'm gonna move out the country, bro. You ain't gotta hear from me no more again. <laughs> I'm gonna still get that interview, champ. So don't you worry about it. You ain't got that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, who do you think will probably win between a fight between um Roley and Ryan, man? That's actually a good fight, bro. Um you know, I, I really – I would say Ryan, but Roley is awkward and he does have power. And um, I think Ryan is susceptible to get hit by some big punches. So, I really I really don't – like, with that one, I, I lean more towards Ryan. But at the same time, bro, that's like it's – it's really a toss-up type of fight because um, Ryan is, is skilled, but it's like he doesn't know how to use his skill too much. You know, he's like – he's still kind of green, I think. Um I don't know, bro. It's, it's a toss-up type of fight for me. Well, since you're saying that Ryan is a little bit green and he has skills but doesn't know how to use it, do you expect him to take, like, a mega leap now that he's with um, Derrick James? Uh, You talking about his skill-wise? I don't know. I don't know uh, a fight. Say it again? You say talk about, like, make, make a leap in skill or with yeah, uh, like take a big fight? Well, no, like, take a leap in skills. Like, do you expect to see, like, a way better Ryan Garcia now that he is with Derrick James? He'll be around Errol, Jamel, those guys. Right. 
Um, you know, it uh I don't know, bro. I I would think so because Derek is a good trainer. I would think so. But um, I mean r like Ryan was with Canelo's team, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was with them. He was with Joe Goosen. Like, you know, like Hall of Fame trainers. And, you know, he left them. So maybe it's a Ryan thing. Maybe, like, a, a trainer doesn't have, you know, like, I don't know, bro. Maybe the trainer doesn't have no um no say-so over him. Like, I know Joe Goosen said, like, when you're training Ryan, like, you you just, like, it's like you, you, you partnering with him. You know, like, he's basically training himself. So I don't know if um, – I don't know. I just, you know, I'm eager to see how he's gonna look. I'm definitely eager to see how he's gonna look if he if he's gonna adopt that same style, like arrow spits or something like that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Can a trainer, like, I mean, obviously a trainer can mold the fighter the way he wants him to be. But I, I guess at this stage, he is only 24. But do you think that you know, Derek, if Brian is willing to listen, he can really mold him and kind of just change him and change maybe the little flaws that he has, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think he could. I think it's just, well, it's just about like when you have um the trainers and stuff like that. it's just about adding. That's all. Like Ryan is naturally Ryan got where he is because of him, because of doing him. You know, it's just um uh, he just needs to add little things and maybe Derek could be the one to add those um those um uh, things that he needs.